I had to go to the doctors. I had a bit of difficulty breathing. My temperature was very, very near the uh, recommended uh, one for saying that you've got to either ring uh, 111 or isolate yourself. And um, he advised me straight away that I should be self-isolated. In one respect, I was very fortunate because I've lived on my own now uh, for the last uh, six years. But enforced isolation is quite a bit different to what normal life is living on your own because you can't uh, basically go out. Fortunately, my relatives very, live very near me and um, I um, have good neighbours and they've offered to help whenever necessary. Albert is 78 and almost at the end of his self-isolation. Although he thinks staying at home is beneficial to people of his age, he thinks the government should do more. The only criticism I would have, uh, and which I've thought about, is the fact that I think the testing that they did initially was the best course of action. Um, I'm in a position now whereby I've been self-isolated and I still don't know whether I've had the virus or whether it's just been a severe dose of flu. There is one uh, glimmer of hope in so much that it has been uh, the virus. I would hope that my body has created the necessary antibodies to it so that should we start peaking later on in the year, I should be covered. The latest government advice is that everyone in the UK should suspend all non-essential contact with others. But the government advice is that by the weekend, groups especially vulnerable to the virus, such as those over 70, will be asked to stay at home for 12 weeks. I mean, certainly I myself as a doctor feel that uh, we have got to look after the elderly. Not only is it such that if you're over the age of 70 and you've got the virus, that uh, you just might be in the 5% who uh, will have a more significant uh, body reaction to the coronavirus. What I feel is that we have got to have confidence in the chief medical officer and the chief scientific officer because this is all about epidemiology. So how can we keep our mental health up when being asked to self-isolate? David Brown is from If You Care Share. It's really important um, to try and maintain connections with people, but that's trying to arrange phone calls with people if you are on social media, connect in that way, uh, email, text, those kind of things are really important. It might be that you don't have a huge social network, and then it's things like helplines that can be really useful, offering a listening service, so you are not alone in this. Um, there is always a way, there's always support available, so please reach out if you need it. Katie Smith reporting for North East Live.